Land's End, we found this probably the most difficult part of the race for us in terms of uh, tactically. We ended up quite well inshore at Lizard. Um, a couple of the boats in our class went further off and, and, and gained quite nicely on us then. And then we were slightly behind and left slightly becalmed um, just off Land's End. And then across the Celtic Sea to the Fastnet Rock, how was that? Um, that was long. <laughs> It was just tough, yeah. It, was, um, it wasn't. It wasn't so windy. In fact, most. I don't think we had. We saw more than 20 knots the whole time. Um, so we had the number two up the whole way on that one. How about the mark rounding? How about going around that rock? Well, it was beautiful. We were just. We were, we were just at uh, dusk when we went round the rock. We had um, uh, sunset. Uh, we've got some nice pictures. Um, with, the, with the setup now, we're going round it pretty close. And then, um, but the big thing, we're very busy getting the kite ready to, for the long run. And how was the long run back then? Fantastic. That was the race for us. Um, so it was blowing so 20 knots um, and, and gusting a little bit more. Um, and we just, we just went for it, um, kept going till we blew up the, the uh, A2 and then went for the A4, um, pushed even harder uh, with that one up there. Sort of, Typically, I think the top speed we got to was 27 knots on that on that leg, um, and then um, we were worried about coming in too low, so we went for the um, A0 quite early, about 30 miles out, um, and still kind of surfing through down around the TSS of the Sillies. Sounds like a lot of fun. That was the best part of the race. Yeah, yeah, it's like two days for that half day, yeah, or one night. <laughs>